Hey guys, welcome back to Fix or Pass. This is episode number nine. Today we are gonna focus on all chargers. So we're gonna be showing you active listings for 68 through 70 Dodge chargers that are currently for sale, uh, kind of all across the country. And we're gonna be focusing on these because we are nearing the end of the sweepstakes of our 70 charger that we could be, that we are giving away. Not that we could be, we are giving it away. That you could win. That you could win. Without further ado, let's get it cracking. And uh, very first link here that we're gonna review, this was posted five days ago in kind of the Sacramento, Auburn area. This is a 70 charger. The title says project car, same fast and furious car, exclamation point. Okay, so he's counting on uh, the recognition of the fast and furious, which a lot of people will really understand. Let's read it real quick. There's only three pictures. So he starts off, yup, I have a 70 charger that I might sell. Okay, he might sell it. So um, it's just a big maybe right now. The same style 70 charger, the car that was in the movie, The Fast and the Furious, so he's tapping into that again. Original 383 car, motor is frozen, column shift automatic, bench seat, all interior. He does have a 440, not for sale separately. This car had a minor hit in the front, it says hood, fenders, bumper, and grill are wasted. Okay, all that stuff is like one year only, that's all for 1970 only, so it might be kind of hard to find good replacements for that. And he's saying it does need a front clip. Says yes, the trunk and quarters have the usual charger rust, but the floor is solid. He was gonna do a 69 clone because he likes that better. Either way, it can be your choice. 32K, no BS, sold with bill of sale only, which means he doesn't have a title. Everybody knows 70 chargers are 100K now and just finding one local in California, you're lucky. I would argue with that, we're probably gonna review more than this one in California right now, but um, this guy's serious, serious only. If you think I'm joking or any negative price whining, I will simply not reply. The only picks, repeat, the only picks, so no other picks. Do not ask me for more picks, no stupid questions. I don't think asking for more pictures is a stupid question, but this guy's opposed to it. He's, he doesn't wanna take any more pictures of this car he's asking 32,000 for. Project car, if you don't know what a project car is, I will not reply. So right off the bat, you better know what a project car is or you can't even talk to this guy. You'll need to come see it anyway. So this ad kind of rubs me the wrong way. I'm gonna be honest with you. Let's look at some pictures. The car is rough, as he talked about. The clip is, front clip is gone, it's got rust. You can see a big chunk of like Bondo back here that fell off on the quarter panel. And then he puts the car from Fast and the Furious in there, so not even his car. So two pictures, don't ask for any more. No BS, serious only, he's not joking. I'm gonna pass on this. I just, I just don't like the way this was listed. I mean, he's got something cool and he knows it, but I think he's kind of banking on that a little too much. Um, so it's a good car, but at the price and him like not being very uh, accommodating as a seller, we're gonna go ahead and pass. Next one, 69 Charger. We're on eBay now. 69 Charger RT convertible. What's going on with that? Let's read a little bit because they never made these cars in convertible. Let's see here, Dodge Charger, this is a real RT, rebuild stop when I got disabled, incomplete, wheel with disc brakes, 440, had a 318, has foos wheels, it needs a convertible top replace, can be bought online, goes up and down, body's in good shape. I'm in no condition to take it off the jacks and prep the car for shipping. She will be amazing once finished. Has bucket seats, I was going to install power windows, frame is very strong. K members were replaced. This can be a winner. Good luck bidding. Okay, so this guy's a little nicer. You know, he seems like a normal person in the description. This one's also in California, so there we go. We already found another one in California. 69 Charger, let's look at the pictures. So it's all jammed, which kind of means they've painted everything that's not the exterior of the body and the color that they wanted to go, which is a big deal in these cars because uh, everything gets painted. It's a unibody car, so the engine bay, under the hood, everything is the same color as the exterior. Here's some trunk shots, looks pretty clean. These commonly have rust in the trunk, so that's good. And I just don't understand what's going on with this convertible. I mean, maybe I missed class that day, but I don't think they ever made a charger in convertible, so this is super unique. Um, current bid, 14,100. 
there's four days left on this. So if you want something really interesting, like a charger convertible, go ahead and bid on this because somebody did some hard work on this. I'm gonna say fix on this. It's, it's, it's a very brief description, so you, you could probably reach out to this guy and ask more pertinent questions, but it uh, looks fairly complete from the very few pictures we saw. I'm gonna say fix. Next one, eBay as well, 68 Dodge Charger. Uh, buy it now price of $21,000. This is in Utah. Um, let's look at the vehicle details here. Let's scroll a little bit up. Okay, selling my 68 Charger. This car is one of 500 Chargers that came with a V8 and a three on the tree style manual. So that's kind of neat. Three on the tree is a manual transmission that you shift on the column. And it's a three speed on the column. Um, so the tree is, I guess, the column and the three is the speeds. A lot, it was very common in the 50s and it carried over in the 60s a little bit. Kind of rare to see a muscle car that had that. Most people People, you know, go away from that. It's it's a different way of driving, but very rare. As he stated, they only made 500 of them. Um, really rare option. Original transmission comes with the car. Linkage is all there, so all the hard to find stuff is there. And then he says they made less than 600 cars in this style. The car is solid. Fender is in amazing condition. Engine bay is really solid. Torque bar is good shape. Needs floors and lower quarters, which is the usual. Um, which he's not, he's not wrong. Frame is solid, pretty straight car. So 21K or best offer is what he's asking. There's some good pictures of this car. A lot of, a lot of pictures, which is nice. I like to see that. So it's a green charger, kind of like green chargers. Um, there was a lot of green Mopar muscle cars, so very common color to see. Uh, the engine's out. It's a 68. So it's a little rough, but it sounds like he's upfront about the description and everything it has. Um, this is probably pretty good for where it's at. Well, actually Utah, you get some dry, nice cars in Utah. So I'm gonna say fix on this car. It's uh, fairly complete. It looks like all original panels. It looks like it did have a vinyl top. Um, so you can see the surface rust under that. This area gets commonly rusted out and it looks like it'll probably need a patch there in the rear window area. Same thing, these lower quarters. Very common that the quarters are replaced on this car, on these cars. Um, it's got the tag with some of the identification numbers there. Hood. A lot of pieces that are kind of hard to find, this car has them, even though they need to be restored. So at the 21,000 mark, I'm gonna say fix on this one. Next one, 68 Charger, we're back on eBay again. Rapid City, South Dakota. Starting bid, $5,500. There's six days left and zero bids. Let's read briefly about this. 68 Project Car, 318, have engine trans or out of car. Major project, missing a lot of pieces, quite a few grill parts, have 69 fenders, which are different. They're not the same as a 68. Two cars put together, wow, okay. I gotta see this. So two cars put together is usually kinda kinda sketchy. Who knows where they patched it in. These are unibody cars, so all those measurements are really crucial. This car is really rough. I mean, it's been wrecked. It's been sitting outside. It's got rust and leaves in it. Man, this thing hasn't been loved on at all. Um, this is like the roughest, one of the roughest ones I've seen. Definitely fixable. But I'm gonna go ahead and pass on this. Two cars put together could be a disaster. You're gonna have to ask more about that. Um, pass on this one. 69 Charger, we're on offer up. This one posted eight months ago in Riverside, so you'll have to contact this guy and see if this is even still available. Uh, runs but needs work, 14,500. That's pretty cheap uh, for a running 69 Charger. Not a good description, three pictures. It's probably rusty. You'll have to go see it and see how much rust it has. Um, 14,000, that's, that's a good price for this, but with almost no description and being eight months old, uh, I'm gonna pass on this. You maybe get lucky, reach out to this guy. He still has it, you can go physically see it. I would go buy it if that's the case, but for all intents and purposes, pass. Okay, we're on eBay. This is gonna be our last one. There's four days left in this auction. 69 Charger Premium. So it was a green rear wheel drive automatic. Uh, there is a buy it now price of 20,000 on this. This is in Westminster, Colorado. 
69 Charger project, this has a zero turn factory warranty big block that is attached to a rebuilt 727. So it sounds like all the drivetrain is brand new, ready to go in this car. I have brand new rear quarter panels that will come with it, tail light seats I've collected over the years. It currently has a 70 front end as my plan was to make a Daytona race clone. So we looked at a few cars that have like different year front ends. People, you know, were kind of um, just wanting to make what they wanted since the, the main body of these cars through those three years is the same, but tail lights, grill, fenders, all that stuff kind of changed a little bit. Um, I would recommend leaving the car the year that it is, um, just for restoration purposes, parts availability. Um, if you want a different year, go find a different year car. These cars, each year of them had special stuff that makes them unique and better looking and certain people have favorite years. Mine personally is a 68. I like the tail lights on it and the uh, turn indicators and the grill are just really cool in a 68. Sounds like this guy was planning on restoring it because he has collected some parts. Uh, he has a new big block for for it. Let's look at some pictures here. So it's kind of pieced together. Like you said, he's got a 70 front end, which is kind of hard to find. It's hard to find this hood. I know they reproduce 68 and 69 hoods. I don't think you can get a reproduction 70 hood. So if somebody has a 70, um, you know, they probably need that hood. So it's got parts from different cars all over, which is okay. I mean, as long as that part is better than the one that came off of it, an original part is always better than a reproduction part as far as fit. Uh, this was a vinyl top car. You can see it's unfinished here at the seam. Um, and then the holes for the vinyl top molding and the obvious difference in surface rust on the roof. Uh, but the roof looks pretty complete. A lot of these vinyl top cars suffer. This was not an original four-speed car and they cut a big hole that they could mount a four-speed. Usually a four-speed car, the floor has a big hump here for the shifter and the mechanism. So you'll probably wanna patch that up so you don't have a big hole in your floor, but you probably do want a four-speed. Trunk area, you can see big rust holes, pretty common. There's some uh, insulation just falling off under the hood. You can see the, the trunk rust in here, but the frame rails do look pretty solid, so that's good. You could do a trunk pan on this. So this bright green is kind of a desirable color. Um, people like this. It's just iconic from the era. It stands out, it's bright. If you have memories of when these cars are new, you know all about this. Um, so he's got the big block sitting in here. It looks like it was put in, and then hopefully this tape covering this uh, carburetor hole held well, because if anything gets in there, it's not a new engine anymore, and you gotta go through it again. Um, you can see this quarter is a little rough. Very detailed photos, which I like. Uh, a lot better than that first listing we looked at with three photos and kind of a pissy attitude. I'm gonna say fix on this. Uh, the buy it now price is 20, but uh, you could bid on this. I don't know what his reserve is. You might be able to get it less than 20. Um, and it's a 69 Charger. I would probably put the 69 front end back on it and go ahead and fix this car. A lot of these chargers that I've passed on, a lot of people would say fix. At this point, with the value of chargers, it's almost a fix any charger you can get your hands on as long as the price is right um, and you're not afraid of doing metal work. Uh, there's a few guys out there restoring these that are rebodying almost the entire car as long as they have that main unibody structure. They can fix any of the sheet metal stuff on it. So if that's what you're in the market for and you wanna get an entry level price and slowly put money into a car, to build your dream car, uh, that's the way to do it. Get a really rough one, find a guy that's good with sheet metal or learn yourself. Uh, they make every panel to fix these cars um, and they're not getting any cheaper. These are dream cars, you know? So you do see finished ones in that real high $100,000 range, you know, 75 grand and up for a nice car. Um, and then it depends on what you want. We're resto mods, so we like them slightly modified, you know? We still like the classic look but pretty much upgraded everything in between. Most of the charges we've given away have been heavily upgraded. So uh, you can go both ways. If you're looking for an all original car, some of these trim levels and stuff are more desirable. So you have to look into that when you're buying a project. But otherwise it looks like you can see in some of these projects, people do whatever they want with it. They're changing the year and the fenders and stuff. I probably wouldn't do that at this point. These cars are so valuable, but you can do whatever you want once it's your car. So. Um, that pretty much wraps it up. We reviewed a lot of chargers today, so they are out there. I know they're scarce and you don't see a lot
lot of them out on the road, but we were able to find a bunch of active listings. There was even more that we found that we didn't go over. Um, and these are all like kind of project cars. There's a lot of nice finished ones out there too. So get out there and find one of these cars. If this is your dream car, make it happen and keep having fun with cars. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next Fix or Pass.